Okay, so first you're going to go to Canva. So from here on the left, you'll see the plus create icon. Tap on that. And then on the left, you'll see videos. And you'll see a whole bunch of video templates that you could possibly use. But right now, we're going to use a blank slate. So I'll tap on video landscape. So at the bottom, you can see that we have the timeline. If I press the plus button, it adds a new page. Um, for our first page, let's create an intro video. So we're going to tap on design. And we have a whole bunch of templates here that you can use. I'm going to go ahead and type in travel since I'm creating a travel video. I really like this first one, so I'll tap on that. And so that now goes into my first page. Here you can basically change the text. First, I want to tap on this episode text box and delete it. To change the text, you just double tap and then type in what you want to type. So if I just move my playhead all the way from the start, I can press play and then watch my little animation intro. Now it's a little too long, so I'm going to tap on that page and just shorten it. So say you have written out a script already. In the first part of the video, I just introduce myself and where I'm from. So I'm going to press the plus button to add a new page. And then I'm going to go to uploads. You can upload your files by tapping on the button. You can upload from your photo library. You could take a photo or a video or you can choose from files. Luckily, I've already uploaded some videos. So I'm going to tap on videos here and tap on the video I want to use, which is this one. I'm going to go ahead and fill the video up the page. You also have the option to tap on the three dots. And right here, you'll see it says set video as background. You can do that as well. All right. Um, now I'm going to do a voiceover. I'm going to tap on uploads again, and then I'm going to tap on record yourself. Here you can tap on record voiceover. You'll see a red record button. So get your script ready, tap on record, and then start reading. All right, I'm going to stretch out the timeline a little bit. I'm going to use two fingers and stretch it out like this. Already I can see that there are errors within my clip. So with any clip, video or audio, you can tap on the side white bars and you can adjust and trim any clip. You can also go into the clip and split it using this icon up here. As you can see, I split two parts of the audio clip and let's say I want to delete this one. I could press the delete button here. And then I can tap and drag my audio clip to where I want it. And I will go ahead and trim my video as well. All right, so now whatever I recorded, my voiceover, it matches the video that you see. All right, so the next part of my voiceover, I talk about basketball. And that's something that I enjoy playing. So I'm going to press the plus page again. And since I don't have a file of myself playing basketball, um, I'm going to go to elements. And this is where you have a library of stock videos and images that you can use. So I'm going to tap in the search bar and type basketball. And since I want a video, I'm going to go to video and tap see all. And you can see all the options that you have. I really like the second one, so I'll tap that. And then from here, I would record myself doing the voiceover for this section of the video. Um, within elements, you can also find that there are graphics, uh, photo, audio clips, etc. I'm going to add a graphic. So I'm going to tap graphic and then you'll see that um, you can add any graphic you want. Now, what's really cool about Canva is that you can animate your graphics. Really, you can animate your videos, uh, text, pretty much anything. And you can choose an animation. I think I'm going to use wiggle. There you go. You can see a little preview of it. So when you tap on an object at the top, you'll see a toolbar. You can edit, add filters, flip things, crop, change the color, etc. There's a lot of options you can do. I do want to show you the BG remover. So I'm going to add a new page, this time add a photo. And what's really cool is that you can actually remove the background. So if you tap on this button, you'll see that it removes the background. And then you can add things like text. Tap text on the left, and then you can add a text box. Or you could go to the bottom and find some font combinations and then double tap to change the text. I've tapped on the text box and you can't see the animation or the effects button. 
Go ahead and untap text on the left, and then you'll see those options. So effects, you can change the style, intensity, even the shape of things. And if you tap on animate, again, you can add animations as well. All right, let's also add transitions. So if you tap on the plus sign, you'll see that it says add page, but we want to add transitions, so we're going to do the second option. And then here you can add your transition and apply that tr same transition to all pages if you like. For the intro, I'm going to add some music. So I'm going to tap on audio on the left. I recommend using instrumentals, which doesn't have any words in it. And there you go. Now I don't want my music to play when I'm talking. So I just want it for my intro part. So move my playhead and then split. And then I can delete that part that I don't want. You can also add sound effects. So I'm going to tap on the basketball scene here, and then I'm going to type in basketball. All right, here's a short one, a three second one, and then I placed it in there. So I have now of a basketball dribbling, but I do not want it to be too loud. So I can actually tap on volume here and then lower it. So let's say you finished and you're ready to save it. You're going to tap on share at the top right corner, tap on download, make sure it's on MP4 video. To see all your projects, tap on the menu icon and then press home. So now you can see your recent designs.